before we start with the video, I wanted to unveil a project myself and my good friend have been working on for several months now and are ready to finally reveal to all of you. For literally years now, supporters of the channel have been asking for Marvel videos in the same style and format of the Stupendous Wave Star Wars channel. With help from my friend, we have created a second channel in the same spirit of the Stupendous Wave, only solely for superheroes from comics to films. If you are a fan of superheroes like myself, please be sure to check out the channel if you enjoyed the format of this one. The current Star Wars based channel will remain completely the same with daily Star Wars content, but be sure to check out the link in the description below to subscribe to The Cosmic Wonder. A superhero based YouTube channel in the same spirit as the current Star Wars lore and news channel The Stupendous Wave. Thank you in advance to all of those who subscribe as we begin a new chapter on this YouTube journey. With all that said, let's begin with why the clone troopers turned evil after Order 66. The clone troopers, now proudly bearing the honorable rank of Imperial stormtroopers, have tackled the dangerous work of fighting our enemies on the front lines. Many have died in their devotion to the Empire. Imperial citizens would do well to remember their example. After the extermination of the Jedi Order, the clone troopers, now deemed stormtroopers of the Galactic Empire, were in a sense let off their leashes as they became noticeably more merciless and savage against both their enemies and even each other. In in fact, the clone troopers' personalities completely changed after Emperor Palpatine came to power. Many speculated that this was the true form of their genetic template of Jango Fett showing through, as they all became far more savage under the rule of the Empire. It was said that without the guidance and authority of the Jedi, the clones lost their sense of integrity and duty to the citizens of the Republic. Instead, their allegiance lies solely with Emperor Palpatine, who in turn was savage and evil, and therefore, these traits show through in the clone troopers. Without the example of the Jedi, the clone troopers turned themselves. In the past, we secretly enjoyed putting down a local insurrection or two. They kept the troops sharp and the Empire feared. But these rebels were different. They were organized. They were growing and they were everywhere. The clone troopers in truth began to lose their minds slowly because of their advanced aging process, which meant that they slowly began to lose their mental clarity and focus and were more prone to violent outbursts. As the clones aged, they became more and more unstable. Without the Jedi to keep them in line, violence and cruelty were promoted throughout their ranks, as the Empire's main priority was to be feared and respected by the citizens of the galaxy at any cost. Some of the clone troopers who had fought in the Clone Wars even had to deal with PTSD, as they experienced flashbacks to the battles fought in the Clone Wars and were forced to relive the horrors of them every single night. Although not all did, some clones took great pleasure in killing their former Jedi allies, as they were solely loyal to the Galactic Empire, and more than this, the fact that the Jedi had turned on the Empire and the Republic lit a deep fire within every clone. This is why with great pleasure, the clone troopers executed the Jedi. In actuality, the clones represented an extension of their leaders by design. Underneath the Jedi, the clones were kind and efficient, following every order to the best of their ability, fighting, and dying for the Republic that they all believed in. Vice versa, the clone troopers became harsh when the Republic became the Empire as they witnessed the cruelty of their superiors. Because of this, the clone troopers actions reflected that of Palpatine and Vader as their commanders no longer toyed with emotions like mercy and understanding but instead saw that these warriors put the Empire and its way above all others. The actions of the leaders of the Empire became the actions of the clone troopers and thus they completely changed. But that is why the clone troopers that became stormtroopers completely changed and in a way became evil and harsh under the command of the Empire. Because of the leaders of the Empire such as Darth Vader, their whole mindset reflected that of their leaders. But leave your thoughts on this in the comments down below, and as a very big question for the video, do you believe that the clone troopers were always evil and that this just came out after the rise of the Empire? Or do you believe that the clone troopers were just manipulated and lied to and therefore that is why they they became so ruthless. I would love to hear your thoughts and debate this topic in the comments down below. Again, don't forget to subscribe to The Cosmic Wonder if you're interested. Thank you guys as always so much for watching and supporting me throughout the years. May the force be with you and have a great day.